name is Laurel Wong. I work at the Kalamazoo Nature Center and as the manager for Fair Food Matters, I work at Woodward Elementary School. So we focus on growing food and learning how to cook it. I go by Cass. My actual name is Kelly Sanchez. I am the CES, also known as the Civic Engagement Scholar of Club Grub. I started leading Club Grub in the beginning of the school year. For us, it's a lot with food and environmental justice. Since in Club Grub, we do like teach students how to cook or how to even take care of the environment. Wait, we meet twice a week. Tuesday is the gardening, cooking, um, outdoor activities. The second day of Club Grub, a field trip day as often as possible. It seems like a really great opportunity to let children learn about more that's in their community. We visited Pacific Rim Asian food market because we're preparing for Chinese New Year. So I needed ingredients for making dumplings. We made pork dumplings, we made with vegetables, and we made a vegetable filled dumpling as well. We went to the KVCC Food Innovation Center, Valley Hub. We got to see hydroponics, touch the roots, see these grow lights that were colors we didn't expect. We visited Asafiwe Supermarket. Asafiwe is an African market run by a woman who's born in Rwanda but grew up in uh, Tanzania and later lived in Malawi for many years in a refugee camp. And so she was very generous in letting us look around. We had um, a number of ingredients that we hadn't seen before and we bought some ground peanut which we would need for making a dish from Malawi, which was greens, tomato, onion, and ground peanut. We made a fish condiment from Ghana that used red palm oil, coconut oil, onions, garlic, um, and then this, this dried smoked fish. So the kids had to grind it up. I think it's really important wherever possible to like learn about where the kids are from and try to find that representation. So where I can, I try to bring in these outside experts, um, people who can also speak from experience. My name is Kwesi Yankson. I have worked in um, the culinary industry or like, you know, the restaurant industry for about 20, I'd say 23 years now. I work at Roca, a Spanish fine dining place downtown. Yeah, my upbringing was, you know, I was born in West Africa, Ghana. It's fairly different than like westernized American food to the fact that the cooking process is way more tedious and authentic. Most third world countries, because they're like getting up and starting that meal for dinner, you know? They're out like pounding foo foo in these big jars. They're like, you know, uh, you know they're gutting fish. They're, they're uh, butchering uh, goats and stuff like that. And the whole process takes so long that you can, you can usually taste all that work and all that tradition. For me to be able to relay that onto the kids like I did last well, Tuesday, it was, it was awesome. And it turned out okay. Enough that I think my mom would be proud. Even though the kids in the classroom don't think I'm African American, therefore I somehow have some connection with folks who are from Africa, even if they don't make that connection at all, they're like, I see someone who looks like me, and there's value in that. We're here to like teach each other, teaching them how to be leaders, get, helping them gain more skills, and honestly, give them, giving them like a core memory. I want them to like remember this when they're like in college. Oh yeah, like. When I was in second, third grade, I was in this program called Club Grub, and they might not remember my name, but at least they'll remember that I made an impact on their lives. Programs like this actually teach kids that, yeah, nutrition is something that can, is not something that you have to uh, um, shy away from. It's not something that you are going to find at fast food places like Domino's and McDonald's all the time, and you do have the ability to make really good, really healthy food on your own.
you know? And I feel like a lot of the kids don't get exposed to that. That's why the inner city has problems with like diabetes and all this stuff. And yeah, coming, coming from that kind of upbringing, as far as public schools go, these programs are definitely needed.